Hello everyone, Gladderman here. So today we're going to be looking at some uh, more advanced differential pilot stuff. So you can see down here that we've got the pilot.rotate. Um, there's also a method that allows it to arc. Um, and the one that we'd be looking at is the one that has the radius that you can arc along and the angle uh, that you arc along with. So we're going to use the commenting out function, which is command and then forward slash on Mac, control and forward slash on Windows. Um, and we're just going to remove that temporarily. So we're going to do that again down here and jump back up. So we're going to do a pilot and then add a dot. And then we're going to use the arc here. And it wants a radius and an angle. And the angle is in degrees, not radians. So uh, this radius is in whatever units you used for your uh, wheels. Um, so in this case, we used inches. We can say I have a radius of 12 inches, um, which is the part from the center of the circle to the outside, not the diameter, which is all the way across. Now, we're going to say that we want to rotate 90 degrees on that angle. Um, so this will not rotate to the right, because how this can determine which way to arc is based off of the angle. If it is positive, then imagine my cursor is the robot, um, and it's pointed up on the screen currently. Um, if this value over here is positive, the robot will arc to the left, or anti-clockwise. If the value is negative, it'll arc to the right, again, along that uh, radius that it has. And obviously if the angle is zero, then the robot won't do anything. If the radius is also zero, then the ro robot will just rotate in on, it, on top of itself, in place. Um, and since this is a differential pilot, it can do that. So, as previously we had this one rotating to the right, we're going to make this one rotate to the right by making that a negative 90. Um, down here, we're going to do pilot, and then arc, and then we're going to do the 12 inch radius again, and then 90 for the angle. So now, it'll do basically the same thing, except that it'll be arcing. And you can change these values however you want. You can make this 45 degrees, um, 180. Uh, you can change the radius. And uh, I'm not quite sure what it will do when the radius is less than half of the track width or from like the center to the wheel edge. But it may properly compute that and actually spin around in a circle smaller than it actually should be able to spin in, uh, but I can't remember what the result will do there. Um, now we're going to look at another feature of the uh, differential pilot, and that is a immediate return. If you were looking through the documentation at all, uh, you may have seen that there was a boolean value um, on some of these methods that you could add. Uh, and basically that says, set the robot to do this, and then jump back to my code. So, we could have it do an immediate return on this travel, and instead of waiting for the travel to complete and then delaying, we can just say, return immediately, by passing in true. So it'll start traveling 12 inches forward, it will still travel 12 inches forward, it'll just, instead of holding and blocking at this method, it'll jump down and start completing uh, the delay.millisecond delay. And then once this finishes, it'll continue down. So if we had our period set to, let's just say, uh, one second, then uh, it's going to start to get a little bit messy, where um, the travel will start to intersect with the uh, arc, 
So we're just going to leave that up high. And so there's a couple places where it is useful to have the returning immediately. Um, let's just say you wanted to uh, start going forward a set distance, but you also wanted to check the ultrasonic sensor. You could do something there. Uh, but in our case, uh, we don't really have a need for it. And you can also do the false here, which is literally the same thing as that, um, because this doesn't return immediately. So that's about it for the differential pilot and some of its more advanced functions. Um, I believe there is also another method called uh, travel arc, which will uh, travel a certain distance uh, around an arc. Um, however, that's not quite useful for our purposes here, where we're trying to rotate exactly 90 degrees. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!